Credit, Ramsey County Sheriff's Office A City Council candidate in St. Paul, Minnesota Was arrested Monday for posting a topless photo of his wife on his campaign website, police say David Martinez allegedly posted the photo Saturday on his now-removed blog after police served him a restraining order requested by his wife of 13 years This is the third incident this month for the 38-year-old, who is running as an independent Martinez was previously arrested at a public library and then banned from entering Target Field, where the Minnesota Twins baseball team plays, according to local news reports Martinez allegedly said in the blog post that his wife fabricated most of the testimony in the restraining order NBC affiliate KAARE11 reported that Martinez said his account was hacked and his wife has his passwords and is sabotaging him Martinez, who is scheduled to appear at a hearing Friday, did not immediately respond to a request for comment An attorney for Martinez could not be immediately reached for comment St. Paul police told The Washington Post that WordPress, the blog platform, removed the post Sunday In the restraining order, his wife alleged physical abuse that she said had a negative impact on their children, ages 7 and 10 He was arrested Monday morning for revenge porn, police say, though he has not been charged The St. Paul police said the investigation is ongoing, and city prosecutor's office told the Post it is reviewing the case Revenge porn is a felony in Minnesota and carries a penalty of up to three years in prison and a $5,000 fine Martinez has been denounced by many Minnesota politicians, including Melvin Carter, St. Paul's first black mayor. In the wake of the alleged revenge porn post, Carter requested Martinez withdraw from the August 14 election. David Martinez's behavior is disturbing and has no place in our city, Carter said in a statement. I wish the best to his family and our entire community as we heal from the harm his acts have caused. On July 5, Martinez was arrested and later issued a citation for screaming expletives at the staff at George Latimer Central Library, according to a police report In a blog post, Martinez said he was defending a black teenager who was wrongfully removed by white librarians and added that he had been banned from the library for a month, according to a report by The Street Paul Pioneer Press. Library officials could not be reached for comment. The next day, Martinez clashed with stadium officials during a Minnesota Twins game after hopping over the railing between concessions and a bar, according to the Pioneer Press. The paper said Martinez engaged in a verbal back and forth with security personnel, later threatened physical violence, and was banned from entering for one year. She became the nation's first Somali-American lawmaker. A month later, she was harassed in a D. C cab for being Muslim. Martinez, a first-generation immigrant who announced his candidacy in June, has run into controversy before. Martinez posted a selfie with Ilhan Omar, a Somali-American state lawmaker who is running for a seat in the U. S House of Representatives. But Akilish Menowit, Omar's spokesman, said in an email that the photo was taken during a routine visit by Mr. Martinez to the state capitol and is in no way a statement of support by Representative Omar.
Omar has publicly endorsed Martinez's opponent and had previously asked Martinez to remove the photo. Read more, a crocodile killed an Indonesian man, so his village slaughtered nearly 300 crocodiles squeal and cluck your hoofs, watch leftists confront the right-wing proud poison and L. A bar who talked to me like I was a rabid dog, CVS employees call 911 on black woman trying to use a coupon as Die Hard a Christmas movie? Bruce Willis finally has an answer. How a woman swerved off a 200-foot cliff and survived seven days trapped on a secluded beach.